Hey, welcome to UK Wildcraft. Uh, behind me here is a sweet chestnut tree. We're in early October, which uh, for me is the best time to be collecting these nuts because uh, you've got to beat the squirrels to them. They're a good edible nut. Uh, the only thing that you might mistake it for is the, uh, the horse chestnut, which they're not actually related, but they do have some similarities. But I'll show you how you can uh, tell the two apart. So with the sweet chestnut, the uh, easiest way to uh, ID them is by the leaves. You can see they're a nice like long oval shape like a spear tip and they are serrated and they're kind of like it's almost like fish barbs they're very very long, sharp looking um, whereas with a horse chestnut the leaves are their palmate which means uh, kind of like a hand so that's the the first way to tell the, uh, the difference between the inedible horse chestnut and the edible sweet chestnut uh, the next one is the, the nuts. They come in casings like this. The sweet chestnut, you see they've got really long, nasty spines on them. And they do actually really hurt if you uh, try to pick them off like that. Uh, whereas the horse chestnut, they come with... Uh, everyone knows what, you know, conquers what the casings look like there. They've got short, stumpy spines. They're not actually very painful to handle. So that is the best ways that you can tell them apart. Uh, you want to be careful when you're picking these off of the tree because they do actually hurt. I didn't actually bring any gloves with me today, but um, I'll just take some of these off with my knife. So the best way to open the nuts is just to uh, get a flat surface or maybe a rock like this and just sort of roll it under your foot a bit. And that opens them up. And then you've got the, the nut inside like that. There's usually uh, two or three, sometimes four to a case. There's usually one bigger one and then a few ones that aren't, aren't quite as good. Sometimes you're lucky, depends if it's a good autumn or not. Uh, then just collect them up, chuck them all in a bag. Uh, I'm just going to carry on collecting these. I'll get this bag probably about half full and I'll just take them home uh, and roast them. And yeah, they're a really good nut. For me, hazelnuts are still my favourite. These, these are a close second. And one other way to identify a sweet chestnut tree uh, with more mature trees like this one they grow quite thick uh, trunks and also they get the the bark kind of spirals around and um, with younger specimens this, uh, this the bark can be quite smooth but this is an older tree and it looks pretty cool doesn't it the uh, the bark on that 